By the way, the Apollo 11 high camera examples are not isolated ones. Here's a picture of Albine of Apollo 12, also taken from too high a camera position. The camera is looking down on the subject, belying the reflection in the visor. Notice the horizon passing right through the center of the visor. There are further examples from Apollo 11 where the camera position is even higher than that in the classic shot. Here we see Aldrin standing by the LEM with the horizon not cutting through his visor at all, but passing above the height of his helmet, indicating that the camera position was even higher than that of the picture of Albine and the classic photograph itself. Some people have said perhaps they retouch the pictures to bring up the detail of the astronauts, but any retouching of images cannot apply to Apollo 11 pictures. We've examined a duplicate or copy of the roll of film from magazine 40 that purports to come from Armstrong's camera. It's a roll with well over a hundred coloured images. Retouched or publicity pictures cannot get into a continuous roll of film. So none of these images can have been retouched unless they've been collectively re-photographed onto a continuous roll under entirely different technical conditions than we've been led to believe. So what does Hasselblad have to say about this classic Aldrin picture? Does it look to Jan Lundberg as though the subject was lit? Yes, it, it seems like he's standing in the spotlight. <laughs> and I can't explain that. Um, that, that escapes me. <laughs> Why? So, um, maybe you'll have to find Armstrong and ask him.